Okay, welcome back to Fibers, and uh, this is a long anticipated video. It's my truck setup update video. Um, I spent the better part of my afternoon getting everything cleaned up and prepped for my trip out of town tomorrow. I have some digs to do. As you can see, I have microduct ready to go. I have about uh, 120 meters of microduct to place approximately. And um, yeah, so going around the truck, just going to give you a quick rundown on the outside, and then uh, we'll show you door by door and, and get it going so make sure you leave any likes or comments um, regarding anything specific you want to see uh, yeah let's get to it so unfortunately my truck is very dirty I would normally not want to show you the truck in this state so this is a 2023 f-150 lariat short box and uh, it has FX4 on it, and uh, it's 4x4, all that stuff. Um, I think it's the 3 or 502B tech package, in case anyone's wondering. I currently have Hakaplita 10 studded tires on them, but I'm swapping them out for my Nittos um, on my next service, which I'm already due for, and unfortunately I can't get in um, for another like two or three weeks, so I'm gonna be over by like a thousand plus kilometers. But uh, that being said, let's get started. Um, the front isn't really very organized or anything like that, but uh, just nothing nothing too crazy. I still have to fix this middle console, but I was really focused on the tools and getting all that fixed. So moving to the back seat, we have a bunch of drops that I just store in case I need. This is the sign for my construction sign uh, when I'm set up on the road. And uh, we'll check that side out in a second. In the middle here, I have my drone and I have my fusion splicer. Uh, as well as some other um, thicker telecom boxes that I've decided to start carrying more often because of issues I've been having. Oh wait, I forgot a battery. Uh, I've been charging all my batteries upstairs and uh, I have quite a bit of them. So um, yeah, in the door we just have some duct steel, just some miscellaneous stuff. Moving on into the red zone. This is the Milwaukee side of the canopy. We have an M12 SDS. Uh, an M12 driver hammer drill uh, that's part of the kit that I'm giving away um, not this one but a new one obviously we have an M18 heat gun and then we have an M12 3.8 uh, impact we have our M12 PVC cutter this cuts up to 2 inch PVC we have our M12 sawzall M12 multi-tool these are all fuel actually I don't think this comes fuel or this yeah this one's fuel um, and then we have our M18 uh, drill and driver impact. Um, I have my M18 SDS on the other side. Just a bunch of different bits. Uh, you guys know, like going down the line, just every kind of accessory, anything you can need. I have another M12 impact up here as a backup. And I had a third one, but I lost that one, unfortunately. And then back here, I have all sorts of coring bits and, and concrete bits to go through all sorts of walls and stuff like that. So I think my longest one in there is 21 inches. But uh, this is a socket set, and uh, here's my tracer. So moving on. This is the, the big zone. So moving into the back. I know we're running out of daylight here, but doing the best I can. We have my pouch set up with everything I carry day to day. So this is a tough build contractor pouch and I, I have it in my Discord with affiliate links. I'm probably gonna post it in the description of this video, so make sure you check that out. This is modified though, so just make note of that. Initially when you come, as, I don't know if you can see the stitching here, but these come like that, like for screwdrivers or something. So I went ahead and cut the stitching to open it up. On both sides I did that. And uh, yeah, so I have my side cutters, needle nose, flat, flat head. Then I have the Cat TV Terminator locking tool to open up the, the Cat TV boxes, a can wrench, I have 516s and 332s um, STS bits. This is my three quarter inch deep impact 12 point socket for the clamps on the strand. And then I have my 38s for my ram horn lag bolts, my quarter inch for my saddles, and then uh, number one and number two uh, Robbies, and then a number two Phillips, uh, as well as my strippers. And then here I normally keep my clamps. Here's some Velcro, so in the marker there. So that's my. Uh, my loadout on my pouch and then coming off to this side we have the the voltage detector for the poles and the strand my m12 impact uh here i actually need to take this battery off to charge it 
and then I have saddles and uh, just these other pouches. Here are just hand tools, so I have shovels, brooms, rakes, my spading trench, a uh, sledgehammer, my uh, tub hooks, and then I just recently found this that I don't know what I'm gonna do with, but this is like an anchor for down guys, and uh, I found it, so I don't know, I might do something with it, maybe make some tool. And then I have my tracer uh, spool there. Here I have garbage bags, I have uh, more tracer and some miscellaneous stuff down there. Uh, my pylons and then my Klein fiberglass and steel fish tape down here. Uh, yeah, and then I have some... Uh, these are the Milwaukee air tips that I use to suck uh, string through conduits. I have different sizes of those. And then just some generic tools in here, nothing too crazy. Just uh, miscellaneous stuff that you never know you might need. Moving on, going through here, this was a big reorganization that I did, it was a disaster. Now everything's kind of sorted into bags, different types of uh, kind of saddles or grips for the um, conduits. We have extra clamps, hammer, my caulking gun, zip ties, and uh, I found another one of these anchor things that I designed for my string. I reorganized all of this, so now I have my ram horns and lag bolts here with my tape. I have my J hooks and kind of different stuff to get into concrete and stucco, uh, like I am um, fasteners and screws. Got some duct seal here, screws for the nibs, and then we have clamps and obviously the hangers. And I put the tags in here for now. I got to get another bundle. I'm running low. I have, I just don't know where it is right now. Okay, and then I have all my sorts of hand tools here. Um, Everything, an extra set of side cutters, a needle nose, extra tape. This is a throw bag to get through trees. My long screwdriver, vice grips, you know the deal. Every kind of little hand tool and then a, extra strippers that I got to change the blades on. And then in here, you guys probably can't see, but I have my, my tripods for the spools, kind of my spool holder. I have miscellaneous conduits. I just put these in for these digs I'm gonna need. I need these for the standpipes. And then I have my M18 blower back there, just the leaf blower handheld. Um, up here, I have the quick lock M18 uh, Milwaukee uh, set with the hedge trimmer and the chainsaw attachment, as well as two extension poles. That gives me, I think, uh, 21 feet of reach. I have my construction road sign there. As, long, uh, as well as other microduct, just scrap pieces in case. And then I have the M12 uh, transfer pump stick that I just got up there as well. In the back, we have a 200 meter spool and a 300 meter spool. And then coming from the back, I have a 200 meter double, uh, 150 meter double, 150 meter single, two 100 meter doubles and a 50 meter. Uh, just kind of there to grab it, my hard hat. And that's about it. And my rotter and my ladder, obviously. This is uh, five five feet closed, I think. And then it opens up to seven, uh, 17 feet. It's a little giant aluminum ladder. And then we have my harness, my Sala Exofit. Great harness. If you guys are getting into this trade, I really recommend getting a, a, a pouch or a harness rather with some shoulder pads and a nice padded belt. Um, it's, it's really convenient. And obviously the belt to put the, the clips for the pouch on. So yeah. Moving on. Oh, this truck is so filthy. I have a conduit tube with a bunch of stuff in there that's uh, kind of trapped. I can't get it out, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to go on a really steep hill or I don't know, something like that. We have my 28 foot feather light, heavy duty telecom ladder. It has, it comes stock with the, the hooks, the messenger hooks, as well as the pole strap. I installed these Werner, um, what are they called? Level lock kits. So I have the two brackets in both legs. One set comes with two brackets in one leg, but I bought two sets. So I still have to put the brackets on this ladder so that I can use the legs there. And uh, yeah, but I just keep both legs on that one. It gives me about an extra foot of reach if I need it so I can extend both legs. And then up here we have my trusty spool or coil reel rather. And uh, my 32 foot little giant feather um, fiberglass ladder rather. And uh, this one is very top heavy. I try not to use it that much, but it definitely comes in clutch when I uh, need to get that extra reach. Um, or if I'm working with someone and we kind of want to go pole by pole. So yeah, and then I have the microduct up there. Uh, coming into this side. Uh, 
in here we have all of my nibs um i usually keep let's see two four six eight nine yeah between nine and twelve uh nibs i keep in here i have an extra three there so that's twelve um i have some one inch elbows a bunch of different uh little like couplers uh different size one inch one and a half inch i have two inch just uh you know you never know when you need it and i also have pvc glue in there for certain situations about to fix irrigation lines or or what have you in here i have my uh Buckingham Spurs, um, as well as another of the big uh, T-Marks here, the, the telecom nibs for those houses that I find incomplete and I have to finish. A bunch of Deltex and this cool Milwaukee knife that I really like. Um, yeah, this thing is sweet. First aid kit and fire extinguisher, obviously. Is that a pattern? Okay. Looking good. I feel like the footage is not going to be the great, but just uh, bear with me. This, is, uh, this one's just for you guys. I really didn't want to do this, but here we are. So in here, we have a set of boots that I'm probably going to wear this week. I've been using my big boots, but I want to switch to that. An extra set of shoes for after I finish work. Here's my M18 SDS drill. This thing is a beast. I've done four inch cores with that. Really good. Um, I have my locator up here. This is, um, ow. This is a Viper mag viper mag locator and i have the locatable rotter that goes with it i just normally don't carry it because it takes up a lot of room um yeah we have my m18 vacuum here fuel obviously this thing is amazing we have my milwaukee tech bag uh that i really only use when i do internal installs and stuff like that but i have a some cool jobs coming up for you guys and then this is all sorts of different interior hardware um different types of fasteners for concrete for wood drywall pretty much anything you can think of um it's just kind of sorted in through there um one of them is just all for internal stuff like ethernet jacks coax jacks wall plates all sorts of stuff like that box of rags and uh yeah that's pretty much it for the truck setup nice and organized and clean the front is kind of a mess. This is my cockpit, as they say. It's just gross. I've been dealing with a lot of mud and stuff like that. So, in my wallet there. Um, yeah, these things are great. Fast orange wipes. I use these all the time. Clean my hands after some work. And uh, these Kimtech wipes I use to clean the cameras and stuff. But, um, yeah. If you guys want to see the interior, actually, we can take a quick seat inside. So it's pretty sweet. It's like the 75 year edition and uh, it's a full, fully digital dash. Got my radar there, my police radar. And uh, yeah, looking good. So yeah, that's been uh, the truck setup. Um, I hope that satisfies. I really wish there was better lighting and the truck was clean. I don't really like showing it in this state. I usually like to keep my truck clean, but we've had a lot of rain lately. Um, I've also been really busy, really, really busy. So um, I'm out of town again for another couple days, but uh, if I get back to the hotel at a decent time, I try to up update or uh, edit a video, but I guess we'll see. Um, I still have to do the draw. Um, which I could do right now technically, so let me uh, give her a shot. Okay, so the time is finally here to announce the winner of the giveaway. And uh, it was very stressful for me because I was trying to find the right way to like pick the winner. Um, obviously, it, it had to be randomized, but I ended up having to manually input um, pretty much everyone that commented and uh, make sure that they're subscribed and cross-reference everything and then kind of roll it through. Members, I think they got 1.5 times chance to win. So I really thought that a, a member would win, um, but they did not. And the winner is PDTM777, and um, he's been a pretty active member of the community, so I'm really glad that it's him. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be reaching out to him. I think he's in the Discord, so I might reach out to him through there. But um, yeah, if you watch this video, hit me up, and uh, you want it. So just DM me your address, and uh, I'll ship it off to you. So this is one of many giveaways to come and um, with my viewers and members in the Discord, we kind of decided that for my 5,000 subs, I'm going to give away uh, one of my a fusion splicers, not my fusion splicer, but I'm going to buy a fusion splicer and give it away. And it's going to be a Signal Fire AI-9, the same, uh, the same fusion splicer that I have, so I can show it to you guys here. And uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. 
And for that one, it's probably going to be um, picked based off, based off, um, you know, engagement and activity if you're an active member of the community. So in common fibers lore, I lost the last clip of that video. As you can see, it cut off. Um, I was just saying that uh, the splicer will go to someone I think deserves in the community and someone who will use it. So if you think that's you, make sure you're active in the community, join the Discord, join the discussions, and uh, give yourself a chance to win. Um, yeah, make sure you join the socials, join the Discord, follow on Instagram and all that stuff. Um, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. There's definitely a lot more to come, some really cool stuff coming ahead. So stay tuned for that. I have some line work coming and some MDU stuff to show you guys. Uh, that's a multi-dwelling unit or apartment building stuff. I'm going to continue trying to do live streams every week. So stay tuned for live stream on Sunday, usually around noon PST. And uh, I might be doing a live stream near my truck where you guys can ask me questions about all the tools I use and everything like that. It'll be kind of like live reviews of my tools. Make sure you guys stay tuned for upcoming giveaways and videos. I'm planning to do one about once a month. They might not all be as big as this one here, but uh, I'm going to try to make them interesting for you guys and keep everything uh, exciting. As some of my Discord members know, I'm heading out of town for a couple days, so might not be as many videos for the rest of the week, but I will try to get some out for you guys. Um, in the meantime, make sure you're caught up on all the content. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and drop that sub.